Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Today I'm a bit late. We're operating on borrowed time. So we'll try to make at least one of these games quicker so we can get in three games today. So we'll be able to get in three tomorrow and so forth. Um, I might rush some of my moves. I apologize if this confuses me or anybody else, but it'll be fine. It'll be fun. Good luck. Also, I guess if I'm trying to shoot to uh, make something exciting happen... Oh. Looks like I don't have to be the one stirring up all the excitement then. Interesting. I was going to suggest that playing Urashino would somehow make this game more exciting. Um, but it looks like our opponent is equally willing to participate in trying to make this game exciting and fast. So let's see where we end up. This is a weakness I can aim at. This is a weakness they can aim at. However, I can just swoop over here and defend it. And so I do. This is a weakness. Okay, our opponent already has their sights on my lance. I've already walked into a tactic. Thankfully, I have this escape. I was ready to move the knight up, but... Um, yeah, there's a slight problem with moving the knight in that they have a pawn in hand and they just win the knight. So, we'll do this instead. Maybe I need to drop the rook back and over. Oh, the bishop's lost control of the score, so I should have pushed this already. Oops. Well, all in due time. Um... Okay... It's unfortunate that I've blocked my own pieces in this manner. It's the consequences of my own actions. I could have sought to exchange silvers here and then I have this cool silver drop. Um, they take my lance and maybe it's not worth it, but I didn't. I'm blitzing. <laughs> um, Okay, they defended against the silver drop anyway. However, now I get to play something that looks like quick uh, Ishida, but on the right side of the board. Um, interesting. Yeah, that is somewhat problematic. I'm still trying to untie this knot that my pieces are in. Um, so everything's defended as it needs to be. Again, we evict this. And now I, well, okay, I had ideas. Um, it's dawning on me how bad those ideas are. I was going to capture with my center silver. 
However, uh, then this pawn hangs. So we take the long road. Um, hmm. They lose a tempo every time they do this, and yet they keep doing it. Um, okay, I think I need to take this. I think I'm fine letting their rook take my pawn. Um, Alright, let's get some tactics moving. I want to activate my rook. This is crazy on my part, but, um, you know, I mentioned how we're operating on borrowed time, and I will do my best to make this exciting. If they take, I have bishop 5-5. Five, five. Maybe I could have pushed this... Well, I don't know. They have a bishop drop. This pawn push is pretty weak. Bishop 5-5 five, five looks cool, but they'll probably just exchange the rook for it. But then I have a cool rook drop to follow. Alright, does this actually defend this point? Mm-hmm. Apparently so. Um, yeah, this is... This is ugly. Hmm. Okay. Threaten to win a silver. They'll just promote straight down the middle file. I don't know why I didn't calculate this. Um, yeah, this is hideous. My rook's defended. I've got that going for me here. I could have dropped a pawn up here instead if I were feeling aggressive. And I think I am feeling aggressive here. Um... I just missed that I could do that. Maybe it's too aggressive. Yeah. If I drop here, they can push this pawn, and then my silver has to move, and then the rook takes, and I'm stuck with the same dilemma. So I'll just pretend I calculated that accurately and played a reasonable rejoinder. Um, if this rook moves to some crazy place, I have bishop 5-5. Five five. But that's not going to happen. More likely, they drop the bishop somewhere, and then I have bishop drop here, and I win the silver, or they get my lance and knight, and we see where we end up. Um, okay. I don't mind this. I'm surprised I don't have something better, but... Um, yeah, go ahead, pawn drop. Let's see it. This looks interesting. Let's see. I think I run away here. And at some point I just give up the rook. Um. Hmm. Um. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this as a silver to avoid tactics and maybe construct tactics.
Hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool. Go ahead, take my gold. Oh, I'm in trouble, actually. Silver drop. Um, and all my pieces are hanging. Uh, my opponent missed it. Um, okay, well, this looks fun. This looks too fun. I guess they push a pawn and maybe survive. But, um... Oh, bishop takes here is interesting, too. I thought I had a second knight. Do I not? Um... Thought I had a second knight here. Second knight would be most useful. Um. Wait, didn't I have everything sealed off at one point here? Oh, freak. I can take this. King takes is the right move. I thought I had another silver in hand. I am not counting. Um, this does not bode well for my chances. Alright, let's... Let's pretend this is fine. Again, we're on borrowed time here. We're running late, so... I'm hurrying my moves a touch. Uh, much too hastily. Rook takes. Or not. My opponent's hesitated quite a bit to make an attack. I don't know why. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should push this. It looks crazy, but um, chances are generated when I push things. Gofun. Hmm. Somehow I thought tactics worked out better here than they actually work. Or do not.
Hmm. It's kind of a mess. That's a horse. Um... That is a fork. Alright, thanks for the game. If I want to try to get three games in, I need to play faster. So that's one down, two to go. Although, at this pace, I could lose three games in a row. Welcome. And that would make six consecutive lot. No, not six. Feels like six. Good luck. Alright, so back to Central Falrook. Silliness we go. I got one free tempo. Although my opponent might know this position better than I know it. Okay. We're racking up free tempi here, I think. Yeah, I started late, so I'm in a hurry. I would like to play three games if I can, but it's quite possible that in an effort to play three games, I might very quickly lose all my games. Uh, oh, this is hideous. This is so hideous. Right? No, that's legal. Um, I'll drop the rook back. I think I survived these tactics here. Bishop drop is... A strong alternative. Um, ship drop still looks pretty strong. Whatever, we'll take this. We'll take the opponent's bishop. So, I think I've emerged with a better position here. So we'll take the opponent's silver now. That's a free-looking silver, if I've seen one. I've had similar thoughts of, like, can't I just force an attack down the center file, regardless of what the opponent does? Um, I've tried to find, like, is there a simple solution to Shogi that you just force it like this? I don't think the answer is yes. Alright, so now the silver's hanging. The silver is still hanging, and so I will win it. Maybe I had better with rook drop down here first and trying to mate the king right in the opening, but um, this doesn't seem bad. It's coincidental that my rook is not hanging to some stupid tactic. Um, pure coincidence that this were thanks for the game. so this means we do have time for game three today so let's keep going good luck
So I play this pawn to the center, or to 5-5. Five five. Um, so I can get a shape that I recognize and perhaps confuse the opponent with. All right, we're going to castle as we do. I should have pushed this already, but it's still fine. They build Anaguma. I cry, but oh well. Uh, where does this gold belong? I don't remember. Hmm. Oh, this gold can advance and I can drop down the rook. That's one way to play this. It's, it's the way I've played this before. And that now I can defend my knight. And then eventually press an attack wherever it makes sense for me to attack at. Um, I think I can do this here. That's true. I think this position's okay. I haven't seen this shape before, but it looks playable. So the idea, uh, my idea is to push this pawn at a reasonable moment. Or maybe to just move my lance, rook, rook, and try to force something up the edge. But then they can just lift the lance and drop the rook behind, and it just doesn't end up anywhere. Um, this knight is loose. This gold cannot defend the knight. The silver could. Silver could retreat to defend it. Oh. Okay. Um, silver could also advance to defend the knight. Um, That's cool. That's... This is going to get ugly. Um... There's tension. And I can't bring up my knight to hit this. Uh, this is a mistake. Unless I've missed... I mean, even the fact that they can win my gold probably doesn't make up for what they just let happen. Um. Yeah, so you have a fork. You get my gold. There's lots of threats here. However, um, I get an attack. That's a pin. Uh, what to do? I have two pawns. Well, this is one way to use a pawn. There's the 
there's another pawn. There's something that's not a pawn. But now my bishop's not hanging anymore. Consequently, since the bishop's defended, now the rook is no longer overloaded protecting the knight and the bishop. Therefore, um, now the rook is free to capture the silver. Um... That said, I'm losing my bishop because I didn't calculate accurately. Like, pawn drop just wins my bishop outright, but I still have an attack. Uh, okay. I've missed whatever the hell this is. Um... That's too much. No? No, this is playable. Uh huh. So. I had some ideas here. All right, here goes nothing. No, we want to use the silver. Oh, this has a problem. Uh, I'm giving up the 5-5 five, five square if my silver takes this. It's a huge problem. Um... All right, so I'm going to cut off my silver. Oh, right. Okay, I'm dead, but it's fine. Not really. Um, okay, we get a knight. Yeah, there's no surviving this against a one down opponent. Um, uh, jeez. What could I possibly generate here? Okay. <laughs> this is disgusting. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh, what I wanted to do was not a legal move here. That's cool. Um, this might be difficult. I have two knights. Screw it. Let's zensu. Let's throw caution to the wind. Pawn takes is absurdly risky and completely unnecessary here. I should just take my silver and then win my rook. Um, or that. Um, hmm... I don't think I have any remaining tactics. They also have a horse defending their king. Um, Our castle just needs a window, that's all. I still can't... Like, if I take back here, they win my rook. 
Um, uh, it's, this is so sketchy. Okay. Um Yes. Oh they missed the Go fork. Or they just didn't want it. Is there anything I can do? Okay. <laughs> there is. So I stop the fork. And they just murder me over here. But um we can attempt to put up resistance. Oh, they've got more generals than I thought they had. Um, that's a lot of generals. Mm -hmm. That's a cool move. Um, Oh, that's no good. I guess we'll just... Oh, mate in one. Alright, do they see it? Thanks for the game. Nicely played. Um, yeah, it's kind of my fault. So. Where does that put us? Uh, we're nowhere near ranking up, and that's fine. I did manage somehow to win a game today. Uh, despite playing quite rapidly. I think the moral of the story is uh, arrive on time and play your game uh, thinking about your moves instead of just blitzing them. But it's good measuring just what the effect is of blitzing and what a terrible idea it can be. You can still win sometimes, and you can still get pretty cool looking wins, but it's better to show up on time, play your games, take your time, and think about your moves instead of blitzing doesn't matter what your rating or rank is. Um, if you blitz out your moves, bad things can happen. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.